just uh, finished having a ground crumble. And look at the, uh, the super pit. We looked at the main strip of shops. That was good. Yep. Anything else other than that, really, to be honest. And we stayed in a caravan park that was actually really nice. Kalgoorlie, we said, was a three out of five. Three out of five. And then we're just at a, what's the point called? We are at the Mount Charlotte Lookout, I think it's called. And you can see everything. You can see the town and the historic buildings over there. It's not bad at all. It's great. And now we're going to Esperance. So we've just run into our first mechanical issue. Day two. And uh, Mechanic Holly has worked it out. <laughs> so one of the headlights is out. So we've taken out the bulb um, and we test it on both sides. And it looks like yeah, one of the bulbs is fried. So we well, are super cheap to go and get a new one. And then Esperance. And then Esperance. <laughs> just made it to Esperance. And we're just having a look up the uh, main jetty in Esperance. It's uh, very much like Albany, I reckon. But it's really nice. And hopefully, we get a bit of sun so we can enjoy these lovely white beaches. It's a bit windy. Don't think we'll do much swimming, but it's nice to be here at least. Yeah. Once we get to Cape Grand, we'll see what that looks like too. Oh, oh that's so scary. Yeah. See right through. Oh, we can really get close. Oh yeah, jellyfish. Jellyfish. Do not want to drop this in. I jump in from here, not from the top. Yeah, I would area. swim here at the Esperance Lookout. This is an awesome spot. Hey, here there's a car down there. Can you see it? That'd be awesome for surfing because we're very good at that. It actually looks quite good. This is stunning. We're at Twilight Beach. Oh my god, it's really cold. It's pretty cold. But look how clear the water is. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy running. So clear. Tell the audience what's wrong with the pink lake. Well, it's just not pink at all. It's not even blue, not it's blue. literally just grey. Kind of like creamy grey. <laughs> pink lake. So, this is our campsite for the night on Dunrocks Beach. We're just tucked away in this little spot here, so we'll pop the tent and everything and get it set. Before we learn how to surf tomorrow, I reckon. The beach is the beach amazing. Is awesome, so. Can you see the mountains? Ah, the little rocks, big rocks, they look small on camera. Walking to the end of the rocks to have a look. Holly's leading the way, very brave, very bold. Yeah, I reckon that's the spot. I got my shoes. Just made it to the uh, edge of the rocks here at Duns Rock Beach. It is absolutely stunning. That's the beach back there and our car. We're just sitting out here. So gorgeous. Sun's about to set. Everything is good. So we're just at the very, very highest point um, of this Cape um, Le Grand National Park of our camp spot. And this video is for you, Mum, because I just wanted to show you what an effort we, or me, go to to make sure that you are feeling <laughs> safe and that you know where I am. Obviously, you won't see this for a while, but. Here we are, we've climbed to the highest point of this beach and Aiden is holding his phone up to the sky attempting to send you a text just so you know that I'm safe. So we just woke up at Duns Rock Beach Camp. We woke up at 5.30 and then the bed was so comfy that we slept again till like yeah, 7. It's really nice and now we just thought we're gonna go have breakfast by the dunes and then we're gonna spend the day looking around Cape Le Grand and then yeah take the day as it goes. 
It's pretty cloudy. Don't know if you can yeah. see. Weather well, is terrible. But it's fine. I don't think it's going to rain. I think it's just a bit overcast, so that's fine. This is the low overcast. So yeah, let's get going. Holly's now leading the way, making sure the sand is hard enough for us to park up next to the dunes and have, have breakfast. She's saying something about it being soft. So we're here now about to have breakfast with a little bit of a view. So soft, and there's Holly running for reference. <laughs> she is tiny, she's not even close to the gym. Just now, getting our breakfast ready. Got our muesli. We've got a pot of water boiling. amazing crystal clear blue sun is finally coming out we're walking up this massive trail but we're already tired so I don't think we'll do the whole thing it's like five hours tell you what this is not too bad so we've just stumbled across this across this guy he is huge! Look at the size of him! <laughs> In you go! Hi! Just walked up at Hellfire Bay. We're now at Cape Grand, so now we're gonna have a look down at the beach. See what's up. Wow, check this out. Just found this really nice sheltered spot from the wind next to this rock here. Going at the Bay of Bay of Fires? No. No, Hellfire, Hellfire Bay. Bay. Yeah, that's it. And it is amazing. We're really high up. I don't know if it shows on the video how high we are. And we're surrounded by these huge, huge mountains and rocks. So we've decided to be bold and we're going to try and climb up to that Frenchman's Peak. Mountain up to Frenchman's Peak. So we'll see how we go and uh, we'll see you at the top. Just made it to the very, very top of Frenchman Peak. We are stoked. We did it in only 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes, that's not bad. The wind up here is crazy. <laughs> it's, so it's gorgeous. Oh, you can just. Oh my goodness. Uh. Wow. Woohoo! So we're pretty stoked with our effort to climb the top of Frenchman's Peak. I almost backed out, but almost. I made it. But you didn't. You stayed brave. So now for the rest of the day, we're going to visit. You can just see it there. Um, I can't remember what that, what that bay is called. <laughs> Great. Who knows? And then we're going right, I can't even see where I'm pointing, there, which is Lucky Bay. 
So we've just had a successful hike up the mountain as we have documented. But now Aiden is going to war with a some kind of fly. It's on the back of his shirt. And he killed one and he was so happy after he's been wrestling it for like the whole walk back. And now there's another one. It's really quite big. I don't know if you can see it, but it like bites. It's one of the gross march flies. Go away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> it's just having a really bad time. So we've just set up now at Lucky Bay. We've made a nice little lunch there. And we're just gonna enjoy it and sit by the beach because it is stunning. Got our two chairs out, nicely protected from the wind from the, with the car there. We're living it up, love it. Um, so we were just about to leave and <laughs> this guy has just rocked up with his Joey. It's the Lucky Bay experience, I suppose. Hello. I don't have any snacks. It's my chair. You really are so unfazed by people. I can smell him. <laughs> That's how close he is. See you later, buddy. Up in the dunes you go. So we've just found this gorgeous spot at Membernut Beach. And we've got our own little tiny nook just to ourselves. So we've set up everything now. we got our side wall and our mat and our awning up just because I think it might rain today and tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow. There's Holly enjoying the lovely setup we've got ready, ready to go. Trying to find access to the beach. Hopefully we don't run into any spiders through here. <laughs> I don't think this is the access to the beach. We will try another route. Holly thinks she found another path but she doesn't want to walk through spiders, so thirsty. here I go. Wait. Hey, wants me to wait for her. It's all right. This looks cool. Look at this. What? Look at a little escape hatch to the beach. Oh my god. Oh, check that out. That is unreal. Wow. Wow. I think we've done well. Wow! We've done very well. Wow! Might be really rainy and windy tonight and tomorrow, but the water is actually not that bad. Like it's, it's pretty swimmable, I hope. Maybe, we'll see. How much swimming done in Esperance so far. Maybe this will be it, hopefully. So we've just woken up and we decided last night that it's pretty awful, the weather in Esperance. So we're probably going to move on a bit earlier. Which is um, a shame, I really wanted to learn how to surf in Esperance, but the weather is not yeah. on our side. If you turn around the camera, you can it see it actually bucketed all night. Um, I was a bit worried how our tent would keep up, but it did a great job. Yeah, the tent did well, but yeah, Esperance is rained out. So we're going to stop into town, get a coffee, and then cross the Nullarbor.